Hello, Virgo. Welcome back to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. It is so wonderful to meet you. If you're new here, hello. And if you're returning, what is up, guys? All right, Virgo. So welcome to your general uh, energy reading. This is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. This is for my Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Yes, this is also a timeless reading. This is not associated with any month or any specific time period in your life. Whenever you are guided to watch this reading and it resonates, then that is the message for you in that moment. Yes? Uh, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you for joining the Unicorn Herd. Make sure to follow me over on Twitter. I am on Twitter now at um, truly, T-R-U-E-L-Y, underscore sidereal. We do practice true sidereal astrology here on this channel, not tropical or mainstream. But of course, we can talk about that later, but it does not matter. This is just a channeled message for the sign of Virgo. Regardless as to what astrological system you follow. And yes, you can also follow us on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. The link to that can be found in the description box below. That is a really excellent way to support the channel. Thank you to all my patrons. Without you, I would not be able to be here. Um, and with your Patreon subscription, you do get extra monthly content from me that is not found here on YouTube. You also, certain tiers get discounts on personal readings, okay? So if you would like to join us on Patreon, check that, check that out. The link can be found in the description box below. And as always, um, 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 what was I going to say? Oh, I am available for private readings. If you'd like to get a private reading with me, check the description box below. All of the details can be found there as well. All right, Virgo, two more shuffles for you, and then we will see what message we have for you at this time for my Virgos. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Let's get into this. So Virgo, I'm seeing yellow energy for you. I feel like what I'm hearing is this is a very active time period in your life. Some of, uh, uh, some of you are, um, or somebody here is training to be a nurse. I don't, uh, okay. Um, I mean, I associate Virgo energy with, uh, with nursing, okay? Because um, Virgo is a mutable sign. Um, is an earth sign. It's very much about healing, um, about streamlining the process, about improvement, about making it better, um, about making things better, making things more efficient, okay? So immediately when I think of the archetype of, of Virgo, I think of the archetype of the nurse. Some of you may actually be training to be a nurse, going to school for being a nurse. Um, you may have just started your training or you're going deeper into your training. Things are, I feel like regardless as to what this is for you, Virgo, things are ramping up at this time. You're putting more attention, more energy, more effort into whatever it is you are working towards, your goal, your aspirations, your dreams, your ideas. And that's why I'm seeing this yellow energy for you. The yellow is associated with your solar plexus. That is your willpower. Okay. Okay. I feel like you're very determined at this time. What's going on for Virgo, please? Messages for Virgo. What message do we have for Virgo at this time? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Okay, this is interesting. First card we have is the Five of Swords. Then we have the Three of Cups and the Two of Swords. Interesting. But the overall energy for you, Virgo, is the Knight of Cups. Huh. This is interesting, Virgo. Quite frankly, this is a disturbing energy. But this also may be why I'm getting some sort of nursing type of energy from you. If you're not trying to be a nurse or someone in the medical field, I feel like the archetype of the nurse here represents a desire to help, a willingness to help. And that's what I'm getting from the Knight of Cups energy. What I'm feeling here is this five of swords, three of cups, two of swords energy. These are energies of the world or the society or the people around you. I feel like you're on the outside looking in at this. You're seeing the self-destructive tendencies that are going on within this hive mind, this social reality. Five of swords, three of cups. You're also 
I'm getting twofold things from the Two of Swords. The two, first of all, the Two of Swords is representing the energies of these individuals, this hive mind mentality, of these people around you. They're quite blinded to anything outside of themselves. They're also quite blinded to what's going on within themselves or within their community or their circles. At the same time, Virgo, I'm seeing en this energy to represent you as well. You are not trying to be involved with this. Yet somehow you're trying to be a catalyst to change the circumstances, be careful with that, Virgo. Immediately, as I'm saying that you're trying to go in or you want to go in and fix this circumstance for them, I immediately want to tell you to, whoa, like slow your roll and back off because it's not necessarily your place to fix somebody else. And I understand that you have this Knight of Cups, this compassionate energy about you. You want to help, you want to serve, you want to heal. But it is not for you to force any sort of healing upon somebody else, Virgo. And that tends to be an energy that Virgos can get wrapped up in. In many cases, yes, you do know better. Or yes, you do see better. Or yes, you do have more of a, a solution. Or you can help somebody work something out. But if they are in refusal here, if they're in a level of denial here, and don't want to see things clearly, don't want to see things through, don't want to see a way out of it, don't even think there is a need for getting out of it, then it is not your place to force it upon them. That will only lead to more destruction. You yourself could get sucked into the situation and God forbid that, like who knows what would happen there. Who knows when you'd be able to get yourself back out of it. But also it could create a lot of destruction within your relationship with these people, if that's something that you truly value. Um, but also, there's a thing here, Virgo, about when you interject into somebody's life and try to get them to stop cycling through situations that are, in fact, hurtful. Yes, I understand. It's Five of Swords energy. This is a lose-lose situation. Everybody lose, loses here. Everybody comes out damaged in some way. But when you try to interject and force people out of a certain cycle or a certain circumstance that they are meant to be learning from, then you are actively circumventing a life lesson or a soul lesson that they are intended to learn and that they need to learn in their own time. Okay. What I'm hearing, Virgo, is you can't fix these energies or you can't fix these people's lives for them. This may be a group of friends. This may be certain family members. This may be a certain individual. For some of you out there, this is an individual that is dealing with substance abuse. But they need to be able, they need to be willing to come out of that themselves. And yes, when they're ready to do that, when they're willing to do that, you can absolutely be there to help them, but you can't force them out of it. You can't make them want to come out of it. All right. right. Let's. I want to talk about the Five of Swords for you. Can you clarify the Five of Swords for Virgo, please? The Oh, damn. The Tower, Virgo. The Tower with... The Hierophant. You know, the Hierophant represents institutions, uh, religion, um, status quo, uh, societal standards, societal um, contracts, and all that kind of stuff. But for me, as a reader specifically, the Hierophant has come to take on the definition of uh, life lessons. Uh, he is very much an initiative an initiator, just like his counterpart, the high priestess, but he initiates from a three-dimensional, uh, three-dimensional physical life point of view, whereas his counterpart in the in the high priestess initiates in a spiritual point of view, universal point of view. Okay. This five, okay, so somebody here, Virgo, whether this is you, Virgo, or this is a cross-watcher, someone that's cross-watching for a Virgo, that is watching this individual uh, in, involve themselves in some really destructive energies. 
The fact of the matter here is, whomever this person is, they need to go through this situation, the Hierophant, and they need to learn this lesson in order for them to reach rock bottom or in order for something to get destroyed in their lives or some sort of tower moment to happen so that they learn the lesson. That's the point. Five of Swords. Clarify the five. Anything else for the Five of Swords here for Virgo? That, then, then there's the High Priestess. There is the counterpart to... But see... The High Priestess feels like a message for you, either for the Virgo here or for the individual that is wanting to break somebody out of some sort of destructive situation. The, the, the High Priestess is a message for this individual that wants to help. And the message here in the High Priestess and the Three of Wands is, this is part of this person's path. This is a very necessary part of the path. And no, you are not going to understand exactly why this is happening or why this person needs to go through this destructive situation. But it is absolutely a part of their path. In, some, in many cases, it feels like with this Three of Wands energy here, Virgo, it feels like this person, or maybe you, I don't know, whomever, what, take it as it resonates, but this person has made their bed and now needs to lie in it or has created a situation, has, has been involved in something that has gotten a certain amount of momentum and now they just need to see it through. And no, the universe is not going, but th there is absolutely a purpose for this. Yes, the high priestess, yes, there, yes, there is absolutely a purpose for this. But we're not going to tell you why. Because you're on the outside looking in. This is not really yours to deal with. Even though, yes, you want to be of service. Yes, you want to help this person or these people. Again, they have to go through this lesson for themselves. There is a tower moment that needs to happen here. There is something that this person or these people need to learn. Page of Swords. I need to experience with a tower moment to help them break through this belief system or break out of this cycle or something. There needs to be a tower moment here. That's going to happen eventually. But if you try to circumvent this for them, Virgo or cross watcher, number one, either you're going to get roped into the karma of this situation and you're going to have to deal with it yourself in some way. Or number two, you're just going to throw a monkey wrench in the situation and they're just going to have to start all over. And again, you are going to have certain karma to deal with there. So you may want to back away from this altogether. No matter how much you may want to help, Virgo, you may want to back away from this altogether. Let's talk about this Three of Cups energy. Clarify the Three of Cups in this situation, please, Spirit. The Six of Swords. Interesting. Three of Cups here. to the Ace of Cups and the Three of Swords. Okay, look. Um, Virgo, there is a, or whomever this, Virgo or Cross Watcher, I don't know, take it as it resonates. There is an energy here of you needing to love yourself enough to just back away from this and let these fools do what these fools are gonna do. Six of Swords to the Ace of Cups. The Six of Swords is all about um, moving from rough waters to calmer waters. And then the Ace of Cups is what I, is in this situation, I'm feeling self-love. You need to learn. Ooh, I just heard you need to learn when to quit. Because again, there is a feeling here, Virgo, of you getting yourself wrapped up in some sort of situation that it's only going to break your heart or it's only going to cause destruction for you. I literally, I really feel like, Virgo, you just need to back away from this situation and hold love. Now, this Ace of Cups could be, yes, you loving yourself enough to know when to quit or to know when to stop forcing the situation and walk away. But also the Ace of Cups is absolutely talking about holding love and compassion here. And you don't have to move away with resentment. The Ace of Cups is talking about unconditional love, the, the love that, that pours down into us from the universe. Recognize and understand that even though these individuals or this person is involved with a really toxic and nasty situation, ultimately it is something that they need to learn from. And they are held in the love and unconditional love, care, and grace of the divine just as much as you are. So you need to so recognize that and allow yourself to move away from this situation. 
because it's it's riddled with heartbreak. But whomever is in the situation that you're trying to get out of it, they need to go through this. There is something that they need to learn about this, Virgo. And it's not for you to decide whether they go through this or not. Yeah, that's some pushy Virgo energy right there. Finally, uh, oh, okay. I wanted to look into the Two of Swords for you, but I'm hearing the Two of Swords is not necessary for us to look into. I am hearing we need to go to Closing Oracle Guidance here. The Love Your Inner Goddess deck, okay. Closing Oracle Guidance for you, Virgo, is coming from the Love Your Inner Goddess deck. Beautiful, all right. Okie dokie, Virgo. Let's get this closing message for you here. Last shuffle. All right, closing oracle guidance for the Virgos. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and north node. Uh, this might have something to do with your children. This could be somebody who, a mother or a father, a parent here that is watching their child go through some really destructive tendencies or situations in their life. And all you really need to do is allow them to learn the lesson here. Be there for them when they come out of it, when they need help, when they need to be help, when they need help being getting back on their feet. Please do not judge this individual for this. I, their life lessons abound here, Virgo. Please keep your judgment and your resentment to yourself as much as you possibly can. And just allow this individual to go through whatever life circumstances, whatever life lesson they need to go through. And if you really want to be helpful, if you really want to be this nurse, if you really want to be this healing individual, allow them to go through whatever it is they're going through. Allow them to make whatever foolish or stupid mistakes you think or you see them making, whether it's actually that foolish or stupid or not, or you're just labeling at that. And then when they're ready, when the time comes and they need the healing, they need help getting back on their feet, then be there for them. But this is their life. And you don't know, you don't know, Virgo, what this is going to teach them. This is their life. It's not yours to control for them. Okay? Your closing oracle guidance is card number seven, Moon Child. And on this card, it says... Oh, Lord, look at this, Virgo. It says, every saint has a past. Every sinner has a future. Ooh, honey. If that ain't some tea, girl. Ooh. <laughs> okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay. In a reading, this card says, you have an opportunity to manifest something that you want very much. The divine wants to bless you with assistance to bring a cherished dream to life. Begin by admitting the true desires of your heart. Then you will need to let go of control as you trust and let it uh, trust enough to let it happen. You'll know when you are really doing this because you'll feel scared at first, which is probably what's you probably feel scared right now, which is probably making you want to take action and, and just get in there before things get too rough. But don't. You'll wonder if it's okay to surrender quite so much. It is. Ask for what you want and need without any shame, guilt, or hesitation. Then relax and allow the universe to do its thing. All right, Virgo. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really, truly hope this was helpful for you. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, I am available for that. All of the information can be found in the description box below. Follow us on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. That is a great way to help support the channel and to get extra content with me uh, that is not found here on YouTube. And also follow me on Twitter. Yeah, at truly, T-U-R, yes, T. No, T-R-U. I've been spelling that wrong, haven't I? T-R-U-L-E-Y underscore sidereal. The link to that the, can be found in the description box below as well. Um, yeah, that is a great place to connect with me and get some extra channeled messages. Yes. I love you guys. I hope you have a fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes. Excellent. Bye. <laughs>